It's that time of year again, which means it's time to start shopping for that special scuba diver in your life. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Olivia and I'm a professional scuba diver. I make a new video just about every single week. So if you're interested in scuba tips, training or travel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's dive right into the video. I made a gift guide for scuba divers last year. So if you haven't seen that one and you want more ideas on things that you can get, um, you can go ahead and check that video out. Fair warning, it was the very first sit down video that I ever recorded on this channel. So it's a little bit awkward and the quality in lighting and things are even worse than they still are now, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, but um, yeah, it does have a lot of ideas for basically any price range that you're buying for. So if you're interested, definitely check that one out. But I've got some new things add to that list for this year. So let's just dive right into it. The first recommendation I have is for that person in your life that's not yet a scuba diver. So for those not yet divers in your life, I recommend either getting them the Discover Scuba course or their open water diver certification. So if you're not quite sure if diving is really going to be the thing for them, then I would opt for the Discover Scuba option. Um, it's a lot cheaper and it's kind of really just like a um, dipping your toe into what scuba diving is all about so that they can test it out and really see if it's something that they want to delve more into. The best part about a Discover Scuba course is that it can be done anywhere. It doesn't have to be warm outside. You don't have to be by the ocean. It can be indoors in a swimming pool and you'll still get the experience of having all the gear on and breathing underwater. But for that person that you're sure that scuba diving is definitely going to be something that they love and enjoy, then the open water diver course is obviously a great option. The next gift that I really recommend for a scuba diver is a GoPro. I obviously love documenting my underwater journey and adventures, and the GoPro is kind of a very simple, user-friendly, and um, at this point, very good quality um, camera that you can use to capture all of your memories on. I take all of my underwater photos and videos using a GoPro only. I am currently using the Hero 8. I believe that they're on the Hero 10 as of filming, um, but obviously each camera gets better and better. I really like how user-friendly the GoPro is. I like how small it is so I don't have to lug around a whole bunch of extra equipment. As far as underwater cameras go, it's pretty cost effective and you can use it for any of your adventures on land as well. So it's a win for me and I haven't yet found anything that I am willing to replace it with. Another thing that I think makes an awesome gift is a log book. So I did a poll on Instagram. I found that a lot of people are still logging their dives manually rather than like digitally or electronically. A log book to keep record of your dives and have like a memory book of your underwater adventures I think makes an incredible gift. My personal favorite dive log book is from Dive Proof. They're the only dive logs that I'm aware of that are waterproof. I over the last few years have been really working on transitioning to using less plastic and being more conscious with my purchases. So I really appreciate that it, the whole logbook is made of recycled materials. And even better than that is that it's all completely customizable. You can pick the size of the logbook, you can pick the style of the log pages, and you can even pick the cover photo of your logbook and have it say something on it as well. So next is one of my favorite purchases that I made in the last year, which is my wetsuit poncho. Now this is not like a hugely expensive gift or anything, but it happened to come in handy so many times to me throughout the dive season this year, and I just love it to death. So basically what a wetsuit poncho is, is like a big microfiber towel that goes over you and basically looks exactly like a poncho. So the microfiber material can be used as a towel, which dries very quickly and you can use to kind of dry off, but also you can put it on over you and then change out of your wetsuit into some dry clothes or in, from dry clothes into your wetsuit very easily, um, like right at the shore or wherever without just being completely out in the open. It's also great for slipping on over your wetsuit in between dives so you don't have the wind blowing against you and making you cold. It just been extremely convenient and nice for me throughout the season, so I had to mention it. Big win for me, love the wetsuit poncho. 
Another thing I bought this year that has also come in extremely handy for me throughout the dive season was my dive mat. So previously to the dive mat, I had been using just a tarp, which is what I think a lot of people use. So the advantage of the mat over the tarp is that it's made of this weave material. So some of the dirt, debris, sand, whatever goes through the mat, but even more than that, the water like dries very, very fast. That mesh material is very breathable. It dries super, super fast. So after my last dive, when it's time to kind of pack up and everything, um, it doesn't take long before it's dried off. And then I can just kind of brush the excess sand, dirt, all the other stuff off of it and get it packed back up and into my car ready to go back home. And then once I get home, all I do is simply like hose it off or toss it in my shower and rinse it off. Um, and then it dries really fast again. I fold it up, I pack it away, and then it's ready to go for my next dive. So I have really loved the dive mat a lot throughout the season. I think it's a great thing to have in your kit. Now, of course, obviously any piece of regular dive equipment is always a good gift as well. So I'm going to have the link to all of the dive equipment I use in the description below, um, but I'll tell you the main pieces that I would recommend for a dive kit if you're looking to get something like that for the diver in your life. So for my regulars, I use the Apex XL4 Plus regs. Um, they're really small and travel friendly, which is why I like them so much. Apex also makes very rugged and durable last long regulators. So I'd recommend any Apex regulator. So for a BCD, currently I am wearing the Aqualung Rogue. Again, it's another very travel friendly piece of equipment. Each piece of the BCD is removable so it can be packed down into a very small compartment. It's a very much no fuss BCD. If Rogue is not the thing for you, I would say go for a back inflate. And then for my computer, I finally bit the bullet this year and got the Tarek and I freaking love my Tarek. If you're more of a newer diver, it's probably a little over zealous for the kind of diving that you're doing. But if you're somebody who invests a lot of your time into diving and does a wide variety of diving, then the Tarek is definitely not going to disappoint. Not to mention that I hear time and time again that Shearwater's customer service is second to none. So big points for the Tarek. I think it's a great computer and I'd highly, highly recommend it. So let me know in the comments below what gifts you're getting for the scuba diver in your life or what is the best gift that you received as a scuba diver. Love to check it out and I will see you guys in the next one. Until we dive again, bye. Thank you.